In this video, we're taking a look at the new Godzilla MCW. I can't tell you the last time I bought something out the store that wasn't a DLC weapon. This is a badass variation I know for a fact you guys are gonna enjoy. And it has a class set that you can modify to keep the camo in effects that's good at longer ranges. So if you guys enjoy, feel free, drop a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, press notifications. Let's go ahead and break down the setup. Let's get busy with the new Godzilla MCW. Kind of crazy that they went ahead and brought something like this into Modern for 3, but I'm having a blast with it. I know for a fact you guys can as well. Now, for the first attack, we are going to be running a muzzle, and I do recommend running the T51R billeted break here when you are running the long range MCW setup, because that's kind of what we have to use in order to take full effect of the Godzilla variant. We're gonna have increased vertical recoil control, firing aiming stability, as well as gun kick control. A great attachment to run on this MCW setup because we are gonna be punishing people across the map very, very easily. Now, for the barrel, we are gonna be rocking the 16.5 inch MCW Cyclone Long Barrel. This is gonna be a good attachment, further increasing the bullet velocity and range, aim idle sway, as well as firing aiming stability. So we can go full auto across the map without worrying about a thing. And you guys can see here, if you guys equip the Godzilla variation, it's going to retain the really nice barrel and muzzle on here. So this is gonna be a massive W. Now, what we are also going to be doing is running an under barrel. Now, because we are running a long barrel on our build, I always recommend running the FTAC MSP98 hand stop to smooth out the recoil pattern. If we were not running a barrel on the setup, I would recommend running the X10 Phantom 5 hand stop, but this is going to be a good attachment, not only helping us out at those long ranges, but close ranges as well, because we have increased aim walking speed as well as movement speed, and obviously smooth that recoil pattern out with that vertical recoil control and gun kick control. A great attachment to run on the MCW, and it fits this build perfectly. We are going to be skipping over the magazine on this setup. It comes default with the 60 round drum. This is seriously not necessary, and it is going to drastically slow down the ADS, and we do not want that to happen. We are also skipping over the conversion kit. If we were building the mid-range build, we would rock this, but since this is going to be the long-range setup, we're not going to run the Jack Raven kit. We're skipping over the rear grip as well on this build. We're not going to be rocking that RB Claw PSL, which is what I would normally use, and we're also not going to be rocking that RB Rapid Strike grip, which would be bumping up the aim down sight speed, but this is not necessary. Now, we are going to be running a stock, and I recommend running the RB Regal Heavy Stock. This is a staple attachment on the MCW, further increasing that long-range potential. We have improved gun kick control, recoil control, and tax stance spread. This is a mandatory attachment on the MCW, especially for a long-range build. Otherwise, it's going to be uncontrollable, and that completely defeats the purpose of running a long-range setup. So make sure you guys have this on your setup. And finally, we are going to run an optic, and the jack glasses is going to be beautiful here, bumping up that firing aiming stability, giving us a precision sight picture. And my personal favorite for this specific build, we're going to have less visual recoil, which is going to be a massive W. And if we can get to control this weapon a lot easier at longer ranges, we are going to take. Once we jump into the firing range, you're going to see if this setup is actually quite effective. It doesn't have the craziest sprint to fire speed or ADS speed, but what it does have is laser accuracy, and that's exactly what we're going after for a long range setup. For the main of the build, we are gonna be running the Core 45, which I absolutely love when you couple it with the conversion kit, transforming this pistol into a submachine gun. We are utilizing the 40 round drum. We're gonna be rocking the SO skeletal vertical grip we have on the Colossus Suppressor XS version, and we are gonna be rolling the XRK dynamic piston stock, which is gonna be perfect courtesy of the conversion kit, bumping up more gun kick control as well as recoil control. We are gonna be taking advantage of the munitions box, scavenger gloves, covert sneakers, own conduction headset to hear footsteps and gunfire a lot easier and goes to keep us off their radar and the comms vest is still the best vest in the entire game it came in clutch i run over the compression carrier because we want to have essentially a 24 7 uav every time you kill somebody run over their body the drop a radar beacon letting you know where everybody is at definitely give this mcw setup a try with the godzilla variation if you guys are actually thinking about buying something out the store this, in my personal opinion, is worth it. I have not bought anything out the store in months. So that goes to tell you that, you know, I think it's quite worth it. And it's just overall a cool blueprint. So if you guys enjoy, feel free. 
drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, post notifications, go ahead and get into the gameplays. Alright, let's get busy with the MCW. This is actually the Godzilla variation, which is pretty cool, I ain't gonna lie. You got Packet Burst in the room. Thank you, teammate. Not a fan of that whatsoever. Get over here. Why am I packing? Dude, everybody in the lobby is lagging. Rotate this way. Oh. Rotate this way. Oh my god, look at all that. Come on, man. Got a VTOL. Okay. Let's see over here. Come on, man. Well, where the fuck are these guys at? Like, oh, teammate, relax. <laughs> Jesus, that dude's tweaking. Rotate this way. He's literally in the corner over there. That was a snag. Perfect time for that, too. Appreciate that, teammate. Advanced. Copy. Advanced UAV is on station. Scanning for hostile. Ready for deployment. Confirming next hard point. Rotate over here. Thank you. 
Got a flank going. You gonna shoot him, teammate? I don't care. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna steal that kill just because I need to get my nuke. I feel like such a scumbag for that, but I, I need my nuke. Go, baby. Time is half over. The lead. That's exactly why I stole that kill because I needed to get my nuke. Sit over here. Mosquitoes middle map. I hear it buzzing around. I got shot from behind. Another advanced. As much as I want a chant, mm. damn, dude. There's a chance. Low key. No, there's not. I died. Same guy who killed me before. Let's drop this nuke. I was like, man, there's a chance. There frills a chance, but yeah, not anymore. It's like, eh, could you get a double? Would have been badass. Nuke got a kill, bro. My nuke, they got two. I saw another one. The nukes have been 
terrible recently. All right, let's get busy with the Godzilla MCW. This is actually a pretty legit class, and the best part about it is the variant does not get destroyed. Which is super, super nice. Now, luckily, I had some COD points left over from last season because it really wasn't... Oh, it was a combat knifer. Bro, are you serious? As I was saying, luckily, I have some COD points left from last update, season's update. Because there really wasn't anything worth in the store copping. Now... Oh, yeah, there is. Rotate over here. I think there's two guys with combat knives. We've lost the lead. Holy shit. I must have got that jack muzzle. I don't know why people still run that. Be Thank you for the comms, best assist. There's literally no reason to rock that muzzle. Oh, wait, hold on. It disappeared. Damn, I definitely wanted that Holger. That's the advanced joint. Dude, I'm telling you, man, these fucking combat knifers. Advanced UAVs exiting the AO. Yo, 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 get off the mic with that bullshit. I just killed you. Enemies inside the perimeter. Oh! Bro. Come on, bro. Target area updated. Move to the hard point. Solid copy, Phoenix 2-3 on station. Scanning for hostile. Backing up. Got it. Oh, he drop shot at me. We have one chance. Actually, not even really. <laughs> this shit over, dog.
Yo, where's my team at? Yeah, okay, I gotta call the Nugan. Ain't no way we're coming back. Ain't no way we coming back. It's chop, but it is what it is. I was like, man, maybe we could try to get a double, but nah, it's, it's not gonna happen, bro. Would have been a hell of a game, though, if I got a double somehow. Oh my god. Realistically, if I got the EMP, something probably potentially could have happened. I don't. I didn't get any kills with the new guy either. What the fuck?